More details on the iPhone X claim that getting one will be harder than expected. Analysts predict that the Apple Watch Series 3 going LTE was the smartest thing that Apple could have done. And speaking of LTE, it seems that we're close to a Surface Pro including it. I'm Jaime Rivera, and it's an irony that we're still covering iPhone X rumors after the device was announced. This is Pajanel Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for the Google Pixel, I highly suggest you wait because the newer ones are going to be announced in a few weeks. But if you just can't wait, there are some refurb options at Woot. We're talking about 349 bucks for the Google Pixel, 399 for the Pixel XL. The deals are actually not that bad. Now, the rumors that we've been not covering lately until they become official are the whole Sprint and T-Mobile thing. Mainly because we've been waiting for this for a while, T-Mobile wanting to merge with AT&T, then it didn't, then John Ledger came and changed everything, and now the uncarrier apparently wants to merge with Sprint. We wonder which is the smallest carrier here right now, I believe it to be Sprint. But then again, there is a map that shows how coverage would be if both carriers would merge. There is some significant improvement here. Hopefully it does happen, so long as they retain the uncarrier policies. And for those of you that have been waiting for that Surface Pro with LTE that was promised ever since the event and hasn't yet happened, we've got some sources that are claiming that we should expect it on December 1st. We still don't have pricing information or what exactly this Surface Pro will bring, in addition to the LTE connectivity, given how long it's taken for you to wait. But yeah, stay tuned if you're wanting one. And speaking of LTE, we've got analysts already talking about the Apple Watch Series 3 in a positive light. Apparently they're predicting that the device will sell up to 33 million units. And the reason why this device is going to be more popular than the previous ones is because Apple actually launched it with LTE. Not necessarily because of the LTE functionality, but because the watch doesn't depend on a phone. According to analysts, the smartest thing that Apple could do is make the Apple Watch its own product, not dependent on the iPhone, or at least just make it optional, just like the iPhone became de independent from PCs and Macs a long time ago. Uh, whether that's true or not, I'd like to know what you think in the comments. And finally, the very interesting rumors today have to do with the iPhone X and Romeo and Juliet. You know, I looked at these code names and I laughed, but yes, apparently the reason why there might be delays with the iPhone X are because Apple has dubbed two components as Romeo, meaning the dot projector, and Juliet, meaning the iris scanner, that both merge to provide the whole face ID facial recognition. Apparently there are problems with the dot projector component, and that's the reason why we're expecting delays, and we expect the phone to launch on November 3rd as expected, but obviously not at the production that Apple was expecting. It seems that the company is going to take up to 2018, as we were mentioning yesterday, uh, which is terrible, which also leads me to the question today. I mean, think about it. Would you be willing to wait up until next year for your next iPhone? Or would you just rather get the iPhone 8 and then wait for the iPhone 11 or 10s to actually solve all the things that Apple should have done a while ago? Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm mixed. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here and watching the latest PocketNow daily from yesterday up here, in addition to our other latest video down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern.